Howdy, howdy, howdy. Motivational talks every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Today's Wednesday, we're going to talk about how to be effective. And we're going to cover a broad range of topics today. And because it's going to be a little bit longer in form, we're going to do it like a radio show style. So, Chris, are you there with us today? I'm here. I'm here feeling wacky on this beautiful Wednesday. Should we do a giveaway to start this? Why not? Okay, everyone, please share this video. So if you hit the share button, uh, we're going to give away two magical butter machines right here, uh, just simply for sharing it. Now, let's hop into what, what it takes a little bit to be effective. One of the first things you have to do is help other people. That's why we started it with a giveaway. We're going to help you, and in turn, it gives us that together we win attitude, which we'll address here in just a little bit. You want to be proactive and create good situations. I know so many people that they're, they're, why does this always happen to me? You know, instead of why does this always happen to me, let's, let's start to change our environment. When we do that, we get further ahead. Chris, what are you thinking over there, homie? What are some of your old techniques? Well, you know, positivity is key. You got to stay positive. Um, try to find the best in every situation. That's part of it. Uh, even in times of despair or stress, there's probably still some goodness there, and you just got to find it. So one of the crazy little analogies I like is your eye. You know, our eyes tell so much of the story, and when you really become an effective communicator, you, you'll learn to study the eye. But one thing that the eye does, right, when it's dark, it gets bigger to let more light in. And if you just took that same analogy, when you're stuck in a dark place, open up a little bit more and just let some light in. Look for things that are positive and you'll get out of that why does this always happen to me mentality. And it's one of those things that it's, it's a really simple analogy, but think of your life like a pupil, all right? When it's really bright and it's incredible, suck it in, get focused, because that's where you want to be. That's that zone you want to live in. And, and, you know, when it's really dark, make your pupil as big as possible and look for the light to get over it. Um, you know, and that's, that's always been the way that I like to approach things. What's your thoughts, Chris? Man, I, I like that. I never looked at it that way, but uh, that's a really good analogy. And I love staring at people's eyes and learning about eyes, so that's a cool little thought process there. Eyes are where it's at, baby. Yeah. So, when, you know, so that, that was one of them. Um, you know, it's being proactive, self-aware. Uh, Self-awareness is important because self-awareness, essentially, you need to know why, you know, you're capable of something. And you need to believe that you are. You also need to know that you have some kind of limitations. My, my mom was so incredible. And I know, Chris, your mom, same exact way. I mean, it, today's Eric's birthday. His brother, one of my best friends. I feel like my brother as well. And first shout out to... to E-Dove, happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday, Eric. We love you. Um, but our parents really did the same thing, and it was that they allowed us that opportunity to just blossom. They just said, you can do anything. You can be anything, and you can, and then you have to be self-aware, you know, right? So that's, that's always the way that I've looked at it. I, I remember the first time we met, actually, I'm not, I'm not, not in a bad way, but just because we have a little competitive spirit in us, um, we, we were going and we are playing foosball, and he's like, yo, man, I don't want to show you up. I'll let you tell kind of the rest of that one. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I got a little big for my britches. I thought I was going to beat Garen at foosball. And I'm like, man, I, I play this all the time. Like, all right, I'll take it easy on you. And I, I was pretty confident I was going to win that one, but um, – I'm pretty embarrassed right now. He skunked me, and uh, it was five nothing, and it was it was a good little uh, wake up call. You know, I thought I really really thought in my head I was gonna win. That's why I was talking a little bit of junk to him and and having fun at the same time. But I realized quickly that you know don't be so fast to think you're gonna win. So that's self awareness, right? That was one of the things that we did, and the guys do it with me all the time and as supportive as my family is um, everyone plays devil's advocates to the you know overview of the ideas and and that's that's what will make you self-aware is it'll it'll make you it'll force you to go through those uh, you know one of the other things you can do is reverse engineer let's do a shirt giveaway what do you think yeah that's a good idea I like that too so today I'm wearing a pretty cool shirt it's uh 
you know, it's, it's Cancer Awareness Month and Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I have a friend right now struggling, uh, surgery scheduled next week, and thoughts, prayers, everything are with them to get through it. You know, shirts allow you to express yourself, and the Magical Butter shirts are all about happiness and positivity and just spreading good love. So we want to give away, well, how many shirts do we want to give away today, Chris? How many? Um, I was going to say, let's, let's do uh, five. Five, five shirts. shirts. Yeah. Let's, get, let's give away six because it's your brother's birthday. There you go. I don't know. It's one for good luck. Yeah. So six MB shirts. Um, you know, we're going to go with hashtag MB makes me effective. Hashtag MB makes me effective. Make Chris sure you will, guys spell it right. Yeah, yeah. And Chris will go back through and, and do that. Um, you know, in, in doing this, we got to schedule our priorities if we want to be effective, right? So we have to start, to start to think about what's important. Unfortunately, so many people get stuck in this, this crisis management mode, which all goes back to, to being proactive as well. And most of these habits are intertwined. And you know, realistically, it's very important that you are always scheduling your priorities and you know what's really important. And what's important is building relationships. All right, if you really want to know what your priorities are, it's to get depth in your relationships. You know, don't worry about having everyone as a friend. Worry about your circle of influence and having so much depth in them that know that criticism is only meant for self-improvement. And, and that's one of the things that we've done here as a brotherhood is, and, and a sisterhood. Everybody's come together. And, you know, I say a brotherhood simply because our road crew is, is mostly, uh, you know, the fellas from the office. Um, and, and so on the road, we really developed this bond to just have each other's back. And it's, it's been spectacular, don't you think, Chris? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's, it's truly the closest thing to a family besides the real family that I have. So I love it. Depth to your relationships. And that's when you're scheduling your priorities, that's what you'll do. Uh, one of the, you know, and these are just some of the tips that we've had from Magical Butter along the way that we're trying to help you guys with, with what's worked for us. We, we are continually on the grind and we're always looking for new opportunities. Uh, don't think about the size and that it's too small for you to do. If you have the time, go do it. We've done so many festivals that have had, you know, much less attendance and this and that. And we've always just put it all out there. And that's what's helped us get to where we are. It's, you know, we, it doesn't matter what the anticipated outcome is. We care about reverse engineering what we want it to be. And if you're always building your events and everything you do in life to what you want it to be, you'll get there. T-shirt giveaways, we got some, some stuff kicking? Yeah, yeah, let's see here. I'm going to just go ahead and run through and like these winners randomly. I, I like hearing the names. Yeah, you got, you them got to read them out for I us. I got a, a little Shelly Hannah. Shelly Hannah, winner, winner. Uh, Brian O'Connor. Brian, congratulations, brother. Uh, Megan Lee Kill. Megan Lee Kill. Dale Hadley. Dale Hadley. And fine. Oh, I think we got two more coming off. Cindy Dempsey. Cindy Dempsey in the house. And Nicole Parrish. Nicole Parrish. Congratulations. Six t-shirts, guys. We love you. Uh, you know, one day we hope that cancer is not around and that we can all live to be 120. You know, I don't want to die at 80. I don't know about you guys. I say this quite a bit. I really, I love life. I want to live to be 120, 150, 200 years old. And the only way that will ever be a possibility is if we start to think that's real now. So it's getting that together we win attitude and saying we're not going to compete against each other. We're going to collaborate, work together, figure out how to, to make these things happen. These are possibilities. These are probabilities. And it's our job to create that together we win environment where it it becomes a reality and we're we're on that path here you know we work very hard towards it and we 
continually build depth in our relationships with very important people that are thought leaders on different subject matters and that's what allows you to corral it all and fit it into a box and make it work uh, and grind to find those opportunities it's really important and it's what will continue to make you reach the next level all the way up all the way up baby all the way up what do we want to give away now uh, how about some stickers? We got a, a whole stack of stickers. Let's give away 20 stickers. 20 stickers? Yeah. Why not? So, hashtag MB Sticky. MB Sticky. So, we're not going to we're not gonna read all those names. No, that's a lot of names. And nobody got time for that. No roll call today. No roll call, guys. But, if, it's, but if, if people have a few questions, why don't we open up for a few questions as we continue to move along some of, some of the ways you can be effective. All right. Let's see here. Um, go ahead and type in these questions, and we'll be answering those as we go along. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, from here, I, I, I really think we need to give away a machine. I think that it would be only appropriate if it was that together we won moment, right? Like where we gave the ultimate magical butter gift to our fans. <laughs> what do we want to do for a gift today? What, what do we want to do for the hashtag on that one? Um, let's do a little more than a hashtag today. Okay, what are we going with? We're going to ask you to tag three friends of people who you think can use a magical butter machine. Just in the comment section. Yeah. I did that. That's a great idea. You know, three random people who maybe have never heard of magical butter that you've been telling about and you want them to follow along with us. Um, we'll go through and pick one of you guys as a winner. Perfect. That, that was beautiful. Nice. I think we're going to add that from now on, guys. So um, we're going to wrap so Chris can get to his uh, birthday dinner for great Eric. He's wonderful. I hope some of those tips make your life better. You know, again, think about the pupil. You know, when, when you're really in a dark spot, open up and, and start to look for some light. And I love you guys. Together we win. Uh, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we shoot you a little bit of positive motivation we have chef joey kicking recipes out there for you f roughly five days a week now or most most weeks five days a week chris is doing uh arts on tuesday what was yesterday's art um oh i did leaf painting for oh, fall i saw it and that, you gave the leaf painting to your brother for his birthday i did i did that was awesome <laughs> thank you that was awesome <laughs> and it's cool because it's documented you know like you've got that video footage of of you guys of you creating that and then yeah sharing it it's all part of it man together Beautiful. we win it's it's a loving thing bro thank you so much thank you dude this is thank you guys i mean i i'm the most appreciative person in the world for how hard you guys work for and I, I i nothing would be possible if it weren't for team mb they're amazing good-hearted people that are highly effective at what they do and they do it with a together we win attitude peace out guys we love you cheers to goodness Tune back in on Friday. Tune back in every day. Keep supporting us. We'll keep supporting you. Eat the tree. Eat the tree. Woo! Whoop, whoop.